Hi. I remember back in the day, I think it was, I think it was Tessa Violet who did some like series, some like collab series. Um, and she did this kind of angle. And I always thought it was really cool. Um, I'm trying it out. Don't know if it's going to stay. Um, I know I have to be constantly mindful, but we're going to see how it goes. Um, also, Dictaphone Era. <laughs> I feel like this could have a really cool name like Pillow Talk. But that's probably what Tessa called hers. I, it's been a long time. And since when have I ever been like the, the pinnacle of creativity on this channel? <laughs> when have I ever displayed like what, any originality at all? Also, the monitor is so high up. I have no idea how I look. I don't know if my hair looks good. I don't know if you can see my terribly cheap extensions sticking out. I don't know. Maybe it's time to let go, huh? Maybe it's that time. Maybe, maybe we should all be filming without screens. Okay, this has already got off pace. So, um, one of the reasons you might have clicked on this video, or not, maybe you're just happy to see me. Something's changed. I'll give you a better look later on. Um, I'm engaged now. I feel like uh, a lot of you, if you've been keeping up with this channel for the last, oh, honestly, almost four and a half years now, um, you'll know that I've been in a relationship. Um, very, very, very happy. Fulfilling the best relationship I've ever had in my life. I met Davey um, when I did my HMV tour for Villains uh, back in 2018. So we met the same day that Villains came out. My relationship is as old as Villains. So if you ever see me being like happy fifth anniversary to me and Davey, um, you can also relate that to your life if you liked my music or if you like my music, whatever. We got engaged uh, just just after Valentine's Day. Um, always the rebel, not doing it on Valentine's Day, which I was very happy about. Because I'm not, I've, I've never been one for the sort of traditional sort of, you know, slash bordering on corny kind of over the top kind of love gesture sort of thing. Um, and no shit in, on anyone who does love that because honestly, like whatever makes you happy is fucking awesome. For me personally, um, I was just so happy with how everything went. Um, it was really, it was a really intimate proposal. You know, it was just the two of us here. Um, and we were just, just, it just, it just makes me so happy. It was everything I ever wanted. I remember even when I first started trying to sort of almost like hint towards, you know, being proposed to, um, when I first had that talk with Davey and I said straight away, and this has always been my thing. One of my biggest fears ever would be a public proposal. Terrified of them. I hate watching them online. I get that immediate like anxiety. Like it's, it's, I've seen videos where people say no. I'm not saying that I would say no, but like that kind of thing personally to me of doing it in public. I mean, you have to be really, really sure that that person definitely is going to say yes, right? But even then, I don't know. I just, it's not, it's not for me, the sort of, everyone's watching. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, I'm in this amazing stage in my life. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be engaged to the love of my life. I love him so much. Like, there, there aren't words for it, and I'm not going to try and put them... I'm not going to try and put it into words, because I could be here forever, and you'd be like, all right, Jesus Christ. My ring is made of Alexandrite, which I had never heard of before. But we went shopping for rings together, um, because we wanted, it to, we wanted this ring to mean something to the both of us, and when we found this, it was like, it's fucking perfect. It, it just spoke to us. It's a gem that changes color um, in different light. Like one minute it's purple, next minute it's green. I found out that Davey asked my dad for permission as well. I know that that's something that people have a thing about as well. Like, you know, do, oh, do we really need to ask like a woman's like dad uh, for permission to like take her away? You know, this is, this is like real like, di like discourse about it. For me personally, I think it's really sweet. I really like it and the fact that, you know, he spoke to my dad and my dad approved. I got really choked up and, oh, you know, it was just everything I could have possibly wanted. So that's it. You know, I've been off the market in a relationship for four and a half years, but as they now say in fucking Cosmo and all that, off the market, you know, um, which is, <laughs> ah, somebody, <laughs> most amazing man in the world 
has <laughs> foolishly decided that uh, that uh, he <laughs> wants to be around me forever. He must be fucking mad. So that's all like the lovely announcement news out the way. Um, my cat's decided to play with her toys now. What are you doing? You couldn't tell this wasn't my bedroom. This is my living room floor. Leia, please. Honey, please. You've been so quiet all day. Pigeon. <laughs> She's got all of her toys on her face. So we come on to the topic of the part that happens after you get proposed to, right? The fucking wedding. The idea of getting married, like actually becoming wed on that special day is so exciting and so amazing. Um, and I've, I've been in that like post proposal bliss for like just over two weeks now, right? And it's been wonderful. Um, and it's just sort of dawned on me tonight of all times, actually, that's why I'm making this video. Uh, the, the idea of the wedding uh, is, is terrifying. It's not a public performance thing. It's not anything like that. It's gonna be an amazing day. I can't organize my way out of a wet paper bag. How the fuck am I gonna organize a fucking wedding? You know, I always thought my life would be, you know, less doing things and more everyone doing everything for me. I can't say that, but yeah. I know the obvious answer to that is we'll hire a wedding planner. And it's looking like that might be the case because tonight I did a little bit of searching around just curiosity, you know, um, I start like looking on Amazon of all places, just to get an idea of where to start. Um, I didn't even know if these things existed at the time, these wedding planners, not the people, like journals or something. Um, I was like, surely, surely they do. <laughs> it turns out anything to do with weddings has also been made into a subsequent huge business. I'm terrified. I got anxiety buying two planners tonight and just so we're clear i'm not rushing into this okay first off we've been together four and a half years second we're not doing that fucking thing where you know you you get the proposal and then you get married after like a month i i have no interest in doing that i'm looking at like 12 to 18 months but even that seems like whoa i don't know what the fuck i'm doing does anyone have any advice I'm freaking out thinking about it. There's so many, if you just type in the word wedding on Amazon, I've fucked my search history now, by the way. Everything, every ad is now just gonna be wedding. There's so many things I didn't even know you had to do. Like there was like a box, like an acrylic box where you have your names like Mr. and Mrs. blah, blah, blah on it and people can put money in. Do you give money to people at weddings? Is this why I don't get invited to weddings? Have I always been a bad guest? Was I supposed to pay people? There's guest books, like I don't want a guest book. Just text me afterwards and say you liked it or you didn't. It's all right. I'm not gonna like get the guest book out from underneath the bed in like 25 years and be like, oh yeah, that person was there too. I, d I don't know. <laughs> I'm stressed. I'm stressed thinking about it. I'm stressed about the fact that there's the ceremony and then there's a dinner and then there's a reception. Like three fucking things? Fuck. Um, so I'm trying to just stay in this like lovely post-proposal haze at the moment. I know I need to, I'm gonna have to get my arse in gear at some point. I can't just stay here forever, but boy, it looks like a lot of work. I am really excited for this like stage of my life though. You know, I couldn't be happier. Um, means everything to me. I'm, I'm so happy. I always wanted to be married, you know, uh, and now I'm getting married to the love of my life who, you know, I'm, I cannot believe came into my life. How do you plan for a fucking wedding? <laughs> Gone are the days I was a 20 year old waitress living at my dad's house. Now I'm talking to you on camera on the floor of my living room, talking about how I'm getting fucking married. What? <laughs> don't know what I'm doing, don't know what I'm doing, don't know what I'm doing, don't know what I'm doing. How do you choose who goes to the ceremony and who, who goes to everything else as opposed to people that you don't invite to the ceremony, but you're like, oh, but you can come for the dinner later. And then do, do people just ask you like, well, how was the ceremony? It's like, oh yeah, you weren't there. Uh, uh. I've also found out since announcing this on my social media and please, oh God, I'm worried. I'm fucking everything over already. I'm not trying to burn any bridges. I find this, this is only an observation. I find it interesting. And this has happened a few times since the announcement. So this isn't aimed at anybody, okay? 
and I'm not upset by it and I'm not complaining or trying to embarrass anyone. I didn't know also, like the first thing I noticed was that some people like invite themselves to your wedding that you haven't actually announced is like when or where it is. But like I had quite a lot of people be like, oh my God, congratulations. That's amazing. So happy for you. Um, Hopefully I get an invite. And I was just like, oh God, how do, oh my God. Especially when I know that I've, I've always, always had it in my head if I were to get married. I want it to be a really small, private, quiet affair. I've always wanted that. I've never been one for the whole like big halls and you know, I, it's just not not ever been on my radar. I want like a nice cozy, intimate affair with just like a few friends and a few family. So the idea of having to like, de- oh God, like I don't, <laughs> it's supposed to be the happiest day of my life. And am I gonna be spending some of it beforehand like letting people down? I don't like it. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm eloping. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the good news anyway, that I've sort of already marred in this video with just like, ah, anxiety. But just, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm over the moon. Um, he is the love of my life. And the fact that he wants to spend the rest of his life with me means everything to me. And yeah, I can't, I'm so happy. I can't, I, I'd share the news. Anyway, I'm gonna, me and my chins are gonna go away now and uh, I might do more of this. I like it. Let me know if you like it. Do you have any tips? Do you have any wedding experience? Do you have any do's or don'ts? Um, do you have any advice like really early on into planning? I'm, I'm all fucking ears, like I'm, I'm listening. Hello caller, Dr. Fraser Crane, I'm listening. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in the next video. Uh, until then, I have a Discord channel um, which I'm on quite regularly. I like dropping in and saying hey to everyone. Uh, do follow me on Instagram as well, because that's where I announce everything, and the, t- the Twitter as well, uh, and also over on Patreon. Uh, but obviously, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. Uh, but do join me on other stuff, because you guys on here were the last to know all this stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Bye!